love so it's your girl april and today's look is all actually done with the little miss grace palette which you can get from sedonalace.com i'll post the information for this beautiful palette below along with their makeup brushes that i will be using the other products of course are my facial products my blush and things like that which are random you can get at the drugstores and this palette here is filled with beautiful bright matte and kind of like shimmery colors so I'll post this information for you guys below. The hair that I'm rocking is actually from JSLuxuryHair.com. And I'll also put that below. This is a unit that I made. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Hey love, so I thought I'd come to you today with a brand new makeup tutorial. This is the Sodona Lace Pretty Little Miss Grace Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to first use my eyeshadow primer, which is by Micah Beauty. I love this primer. It works really well and it actually has your eyeshadow last the entire day. So the first color I'm going to be using from that palette is called Forest, which is a beautiful kind of like light bronzy color. And I'm going to take my brush and sweep that over the entire portion above my crease line and I'm also going to be using my L'Oreal True Match pressed powder in the color cocoa because I love this as a transition color I use it on like every single eyeshadow look the next color I'm going to be using is pink princess which is a very beautiful bright pink it's like a matte color but the color is so vibrant and it really is like a gorgeous color so I'm going to be also taking my eyeshadow brush and putting that in the middle of my lower lids and applying the Twinkle Star, which is a very bright yellow. This is supposed to be a matte color, I do believe, but it has like a little bit of shimmer in it, which is perfect. And to top off the edges, I'm going to be using Purple Rainbow as well with my eyeshadow brush and just kind of like blend the colors in a little bit together seamlessly. Now it does look a little messy so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take that same eyeshadow brush with that purple raindrop and kind of like put it in the crease of my eyelid. Not too much but whatever product is left on the outer corner of my eyelid. And now I'm going to be taking one of my favorite Sedona brushes and that same color forest and I'm going to go into the crease of my eyelid just to give it a little definition and kind of like soften the colors a little bit. Sedona has the best brushes. This brush set that I'm using now has actually lasted me for um, a little bit over two years now. Now back into that palette, I'm going to be using Fall For Me, which is a very bright white color. With this one, you really don't need much, so I would advise to go light with it and make sure you blend it in well, especially if you're going to be using it as a brow highlight. I normally don't use colors like this, but I wanted to use all the shadows in the palette. For my lids, something different and dramatic, which is new for me, and this is the Jordana Cat Liner, and I think it's called Twilight, and it's a very pretty blue, but you will need to use a makeup remover or eye, 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 eye makeup remover to re take it off because it kind of stains your eyelids, so I don't use it as much, but I thought it would go great with this eye look because I wanted like a lot of tropical type of colors. And I do like the brush because it's very fine, so it makes it go on a lot easier. I went ahead and sprayed my face with my NYX Dewy Setting Spray and I'm going to be applying my two favorite foundations along with my Hard Candy Self Glow um, in Tropical Tan and I'm going to mix those together, together to get the perfect color and use my Sedona Flat Buffer Brush to buff that out. Buff that out. Now this brush I actually have had for three years. I do have another set by them and ladies I'm telling you guys their brushes are like the best in the world. To blend in that foundation and give me a seamless look, I'm going to be using my, I think it's called Makeup Techniques. I'm not really sure, but I love this sponge. They do carry them at Walmart now. And also to use as kind of like a contour, I'm going to be using another one of my Sedona brushes, which is a foundation brush, along with my Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Foundation in Beige 6. These colors are too light for my face, so I decided to use them as my contour, which works really well for my skin. I don't see any creasage throughout the day. The makeup actually lasts all day, and it gives great full coverage. So if you're looking for a great foundation, I would highly advise Mary Kay, and I'll post it 
other information below and I'm just going to be using the beige six at first and then the next one I'm going to be using is going to be the Mary Kay time wise in color number four which you see here which is super light but it gives me a brighter complexion for my highlight if you're wondering why I use both one is just to give me full coverage and blend in a little bit more with my skin and then the lighter one is just to give me a more contour so I'm going to just be going back and forth um, basically the same way that I did prior to this and I'm going to just dab it in my chin and of course I did some of this off camera because I didn't want the video too long and I'm just going to take that, that, sponge, that sponge. I love this sponge. It has like four different sides and you use each side for a different technique which works really well for me. Um, they do sell them at Ulta but they also have them in Walmart. Now one of my favorite makeups is the Fashion Fair foundation stick and this is in the color Espresso and it's a really great creamy foundation for contouring. So that is mainly what I use it for because of course it's way too dark for my skin tone. But I do like to blend it in with that same blending sponge and just keep back and forth blending it in until I get a seamless look and you don't see any lines of demarcation on my face as well as for my nose area I do kind of like blend that totally in some for some reason I'm not really sure why because I like to just blend it in and just to go underneath my cheekbones to so they'll pop I'm going to be using that same Mary Kay time wise in beige six which I use as my contour and then blend that in with my blending brush or blending sponge now back to that L'Oreal True Match, I'm going to also use that on my nose. I love that this pressed powder. I use it for everything. It's of course not my color, but it's great for contouring. It's great for transition color for your eyelids, and it's just awesome. A little setting powder, which I'm using is Ben Nye Banana Powder. I said it before, I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm really trying to try out the Sasha Cosmetic one, which I heard is awesome. Now this was actually one of my favorite mascara, which was the YSL. It gave so much volume, but for some reason the brush, the bristles of the brush are like laying flat. It gets really thick and it's just so unattractive. So I decided to go ahead and use my Benefits Dear Real Mascara for the bottom lashes because the little wand at the bottom, the actual bristles really work well for your lower lashes because it's short. And just for the inner tear ducts, I'm going to also go back into that Twinkle Star on the palette and press, I will set my makeup with my favorite Milani Multitask Facial Powder. And using my Sedona Contouring Tulip Brush, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my favorite bronzers, which was from the Model Company. As well as that, I just put a little highlight on my nose and I'm going to be dipping into my Milani Coral Cove blush which is absolutely a bright color but it's a beautiful summer color and some of my hard candy baked blush which I like to use as a contour because it's really a pretty iridescent color now for my lips I've already went ahead and put some chapstick on and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with unique lip liner and I'll also post that below. This lip liner is like the perfect match for the lipstick that I'm going to be using now, which is by NYX, and this is their matte lipstick. I'll also post the name of that, but I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup with this NYX setting makeup spray, which is in Dewy, and can't forget the hair. So the unit that I'm putting on is actually a unit that I created, and I used hair from JS Luxury Hair. This is the Peruvian Straight, and I have four bundles in and a closure. I absolutely love this hair. It has not tangled on me yet, but to just darken my, my actual hairline in the front and make it look a little darker but thicker, I'm going to be using Topics um, Keratin Hair Filler Fibers, which you can pick up from Sally's, which I highly recommend if you're going to get it. Make sure you get it with the spray nozzle. And then go ahead and set my actual hairline with a little bit of concealer. Pull that lace wig down a little bit or wig down and, you know work it girl work it work it so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video something bright and fun for the summer i actually love this palette by sedona but for one they have the best makeup brushes in the country they last forever you guys so on that note stay diva and divalicious i'll see you guys on my next video and make sure you rate comment and subscribe